What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're talking about Halloween ends in this video here again today. So a couple videos ago, I did something where I talked about us getting a flashback that jumped to showing young Michael Myers again because he seemed it seemed like young Michael Myers was very prominent or had some a lot of significance in kills and I'm just thinking maybe it's going to be brought back up again in ends in some capacity. What if we got something where we see the events of what happened when the Myers went into their house in 1963 found Judas body I know it's out there in novelizations or something like that but having it depicted on screen and maybe doing a bit a bit of tweaking to it I've done a whole video talking about that now I want to talk about as you see in the thumbnail Michael Myers parents and if indeed he might be after them because in this timeline we don't know what happened to these people in the novelization for Halloween Kills, I believe it's mentioned by Frank that they just left town and no one knows what happened to them. So on screen in ends, we could actually start to learn some things about the Myers parents that then relate to us giving giving us a path to get to a flashback like seeing what else happened after they found judas body seeing that depicted on screen maybe they actually appear in halloween ends and it seems that going off of the emphasis of the myers house in the original or not the original but in kills that there might be something going on where michael is actually hunting his parents he's not necessarily trying to kill everyone else as a target as much as they're just in his way as he's trying to hunt down and murder his parents out of some type of vendetta against them for putting him in smith's grove maybe at one point one of them visited him in smith's grove kept tabs on him with dr loomis but then ultimately all of that stopped the connection and the communication stopped and he's held in this anger towards them ever since that connection was cut off but now of course knowing what he knows and knowing where his home is had a chance to break out and go take out his parents go kill them go have words with them of course not literal words because he doesn't talk but you know go handle his business with his parents and maybe this is something that will be touched on in halloween ends where we find out where the myers parents are where where we learn what they've been up to could they be connected to this baxter family is there something going on there um and learning just how they have been impacted by everything that's been going on because they are apparently i would imagine being they i guess they would have changed their name too i would imagine they would have been ran out of ran out of haddonfield potentially after being harassed uh and you know that house itself has become very infamous so of course the parents inside of it must have been harassed to some capacity forced to leave town uh as they became blacklisted i would say in haddonfield by haddonfield residents they've moved on made a new name for themselves and you know they have to be aware of what's going on it's just that they're trying to keep as low profile as they can because of all the backlash that they got from the 1963 events so could they eventually just say you know what we need to go back to Haddonfield and we need to address our son we need to deal with them we need to help these people so for whatever reason they feel like it's their duty to go back to Haddonfield and address Michael Michael is there at the end of the movie dealing with Lori Strode and Allison and then he sees his parents and there's a confrontation that goes on between Michael Myers and his parents this distraction could then lead to Michael being killed by Lori Strode or Allison or a combination of the two or maybe just just maybe because of the fact that they have talked about Jamie Lee Curtis um, has talked about how the indie might not be to everyone's liking. Some people might be upset about it. And I've also talked about how Nick Castle pointed out that no one's ex ready for what they have or that it's not something you're expecting. So what if it is indeed not Lori or Allison, but Michael Myers parents that end up killing him or a mixture of where everybody involved with that with that trio of characters somehow ends up dying together and you know you have it could be something done in the Myers house where the entire house goes up in flames but still something happens where you are alluding to the fact that Michael Myers survived he did not die his parents of course would be dead but maybe just maybe if they don't do that you have Michael Myers killed on screen by his parents now how this will ultimately come come down I don't know because again I would imagine they would have some type of altercation in the movie these two would have to be in they'd have to be older than Lori too so I don't even think they'd be worthy contenders to even go up against this this man even though um uh, that's their son again I, they would have to be very very elderly especially if michael is in his 60s so if his parents are still around if 
if they're still around because now i'm thinking that maybe they won't even appear because yes how old would they be <laughs> yeah they maybe they shouldn't be the ones killing him yeah i'm gonna take that back they shouldn't be the ones killing him i would rather you have a distraction where he sees his parents recognizes them and then laurie or allison gets the job done and that's it or just something happens where again you seemingly see him die and it's courtesy of a distraction by his parents he's in shock to see them that is his that is his undoing because all this anger is rushing to the surface we can see him gripping his knife but then somebody laurie allison from behind takes him off catches him off guard does something to him incapacitates him you are led to believe he is dead but then of course by the time the movie is over you get something alluding to that he and could have he indeed could have survived you don't get told he survived you it's not being made obvious but you at least get to live up to your title of halloween ends while still teasing your audience that there's a chance that michael survived uh and again this should be done by like a voiceover dave dave mccray i've said this a thousand times because i'm in complete agreement with something like this happening a voiceover where dr Lewis comes over from the grave or from the beyond saying that you think you fooled them Mike or that you fooled them Michael but not me and then the movie cuts to black the idea of exploring Michael Myers parents and then also coming to the conclusion on screen that he indeed is after these two and that's who he's been searching for this whole time would be something I think that is full circle in respect to how they're saying this is not Laurie Strode's story in respect to what Michael is after that was accomplished in Halloween Kills and then when they made that clear that it's not about him hunting down Lori so who is he hunting down because it does seem like he is going after someone now maybe just maybe that will raise more questions about why he is targeting his parents but again that could be explored by addressing certain things related to one of them used to being being visitors as 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 it pertains to him being in smith's world but then that stopped which led to a lot of hatred being built up over the course of these years he broke out went to go find them they weren't there and he could have been spending the last four years in between the events of kills and ends looking for them and then hopefully we get to see that fleshed out on screen more in ends when his parents arrive if they arrive but let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification there miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video